talk with your host, Zeno. And Zeus. Uh, this is the show of two guys who talk about any and everything, including pop culture, sports, and a heavy dose of politics, sometimes. Uh, Zeus, how have you been? I've been good, my friend. Uh, started a new job, so, you know, starting to get a hang of that, all that good stuff, and uh, enjoyed my Memorial Day weekend by doing absolutely nothing. Mm. Actually, that's a lie. So I went fishing, actually, for the first time. Um, I'd never done, I did a little bit of fishing like the weekend before, but we went to the lake, uh, Lake Lake Lanier, which somebody said, if somebody invites you to Lake Lanier moving forward, you should take that as a threat. Uh, because <laughs> there's always damn deaths in that place. Um, unfortunately, when we were there weekend, you know, we had a couple of, um, I think it was like uh, one child drowned and then, I think there was a family, but that was in Savannah. Actually, that was in Lake Lanier, where like a boat crashed or something like that, and like a family of four passed away. But um, so that's that sucks. So if you guys are going on the lakes, please be careful. Um, there's always a, pr- you know, what's funny. Lakes is one of those places that you can actually drink and drive, which is probably not a good thing. <laughs> mm-hmm. So okay. so if you guys are going on the lakes or something like that, be careful. But fishing was fun, man. I've never done fishing before, so that was a pretty good thing. I think I'm going to keep doing that. That's when I realized I'm moving to boomer age when um, you start wanting to go fishing. Okay. Well, that got really dark, and then you brought it back around to fishing was fun, sir. Thanks for that. Um, It's how I am, sir. I can get dark, and then I can bring it back to the funny. Yes, yes. Um, I'm good. Uh, (laughs) Thanks for asking. Uh, No, I imagine imagine you're about to ask. Um, I was. I was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm good. Uh, I think since we last recorded, I went to two weddings, both were Indian weddings. Uh, if you've never been a, to an Indian wedding, do so. It's like so much fun. Um, not saying other weddings aren't fun, but they aren't <laughs> by comparison. <laughs> like, so, aren't they uh, like a couple of days? Um, well, yeah. So, so they do take place over like, a couple of days or a few days, but I only went to like the single day events, which is like, um, they have this thing in the morning called the Barat, uh, B-A-R-A-A-T. And essentially, um, the groom is like in a car. It's usually like a fancy vehicle. I believe the latest one we went to was like a Rolls Royce. And like, you know, we gathered, we, we gather around the groom's like family and all that stuff. And so we start like dancing around the car. It's usually like um, a, a van or whatever with music playing. And so we like dance around like the length of the, maybe a parking lot or whatever. And this thing can go for like 30 minutes and it's summer and it's hot. So, so we're out there and dancing. And this latest one I went to, um, Freddie Falcon, Falcon's mascot. I saw actually, it, yeah. Showed up, yeah, that was, that was, was wild. The, was the, is the groom a huge Falcons fan? Huge Falcons fan. And the bride knows it, so she surprised him with that. Um, so yeah, so that, so that was cool. And then obviously there's like a break in between. Oh, so, sorry, sorry. There's the barat, and then there's the ceremony of like you know the groom and the bride exchanging um, like wreaths, wreath, wreaths, yeah. Um, and then th- there's a there's a whole lot that goes into it that I don't know too much about because I'm not you know, of that culture. Um, but then uh, afterwards, there's like a break, and then there's a reception at night. Um, um, the one I went to th- two weekends ago. Um, Though these little girls that like did this dance, those are super impressive. I was like, I don't know if I have the bone strength or density to do any of that. Um, and then obviously the reception, it was beautiful. So um, shout out to my two friends, Meet and Nihar, on their nuptials um, to the beautiful brides Ami and Nikki. Um, so so that's what I did. Photos. Mm-hmm. I want to say, guys, if you are in the Georgia area, specifically around Marietta, Atlanta, and you go to a wedding. And there's only one black guy there. It's more than likely going to be Zeno because <laughs> he's usually all. And, and you're like international with it. Like you, you, you have been to like various types of weddings. You probably could write a whole book about the different types of weddings. <laughs> you know, that's actually not a bad idea. I should do that. Um, there was one other. You know, shout out to Curtis, another black guy. There. Um, <laughs> all right. So, <laughs> all right. So that that was the intro. Now let's get into the meat of it. 